Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I am bringing you your inspirational vitamin on this very cold Tuesday morning. Um, I hope that as you guys are watching and listening to this, that you are warm and cozy. So uh, we'll be reading in Romans chapter four. Um, but before I start, I just want to say I was flipping through my Bible today, trying to figure out what I wanted to share about and sort of just like looking at the notes that I have written in my in the margins of my Bible and just seeing what might inspire me and I came across this passage and all it has next to it is an exclamation point whatever that means <laughs> and I read it again and I understand why I put an exclamation point by it uh, and I just felt inspired by it so um, we're going to pick up Romans 4 verse 18 oh but before I start this section uh, is titled The Promise Granted Through Faith, and it's all about Abraham's faith specifically. Um, so as I read and I say, like, he, we're talking about Abraham. So, okay. So verse 18 says, He believed, hoping against hope, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what had been spoken. So will your descendants be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body to be already dead, since he was about a hundred years old and also the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not waver in unbelief at God's promise, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, because he was fully convinced that what God had promised he was able to do. Therefore, it was credited to him for righteousness. And I'll stop there because there are two parts of this passage that um, just really convict me when it comes to the topic of faith. So the first part is in verse 18 at the beginning when he says, hoping against hope, um, oh, three parts. And then in verse 20, when he said he did not waver in unbelief at God's promise. And then verse 21, where it says, because he was fully convinced that what God had promised, he was also able to do. And I love these three um, short passages in this overall bigger passage because it talks about Abraham's faith. And it is like a, it is an unfathomable faith to me. I am not a naturally very faithful person. As soon as something gets hard, I tend to rely on myself and I find reasons that God is untrustworthy or rather like Satan gives like, Satan lies to me to give me reasons that God, for God being untrustworthy. But I think Abraham is really somebody I want to emulate in this way. Like, I think about situations where I hope against all hope or I don't unwaver. Um, or I, yeah, I don't waver in unbelief at God's promise. But I like believe that what God says he can do, he will do. And I love that because I'm not naturally that way. And, or I think of reasons why he would never do something for me. But then you think about Abraham's situation. Him and Sarah were both very old and barren. And God had promised him that he would be the father of all nations. And it would have been exceedingly easy for Abraham to just be like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> like, that's not legit. Um, but instead, he hopes against all hope. He doesn't waver in his unbelief. Um, am I saying that right? He did not waver in unbelief. Yeah, he did not waver in unbelief. And he was fully convinced that God would do what he promised. Uh and I think that is just going to convict and inspire me moving forward about what my faith should look like, as I hope it does yours. Thanks. Bye.